this is Scott, and this is the Hype Report. Here are the quotes for various items. First, EU debit card. Instead of helicopter money, it appears that the criminals at the European Central Bank are getting ready to issue so-called foolproof debit cards backed by the Central Bank. Of course, when someone claims something electronic is foolproof, it is likely to be as foolproof as the U.S. healthcare government website. Next, White House censors. Obama is so afraid to offend Muslims that his White House staff purposely censored French President Holland's video where he mentioned Islamic terrorism. Of course, is it any surprise that Obama would stick up for his terrorist friends? Next, basic necessities. For the first time ever recorded, middle class Americans make up a minority of the population. But back in 1971, 61% of all Americans lived in middle class households. In fact, it has gotten to the point where approximately one third of all Americans don't bring home enough money to cover the core necessities. Next, aging population. Sometime in the next four years, the global population who are 65 years and older will surpass those under five for the first time. When one thinks about how people are living longer, it does not take a rocket scientist to realize that senior programs like Social Security are not sustainable. So, is it any wonder that the elite have a need for war to get rid of the excess population? Next, aiding Hillary. Officials at the State Department stated that they have suspended their internal review into whether Hillary Clinton or a gal pals mishandled emails containing information deemed top secret. The so-called internal review will remain on hold pending completion of the FBI probe, which is likely to be complete sometime between 2020 and 2030. Next, Republican whore. It isn't only Hillary Clinton and Obama who indirectly take foreign contributions. John Insane McCain also, through his nonprofit groups, received a million dollar donation from Saudi Arabia, a country that has obvious ties to 9-11 and where women are forbidden to drive. Next, lead problem. While the lead in Flint's water supply may have shocked the nation, other cities like Newark have a high percentage of lead in their water and soil. Truth be told, there isn't much research on lead levels in the majority of U.S. cities. Therefore, another reason to get out of cities. Finally, please prepare now for the escalating economic and social unrest. Good day.